Hi guys, in this video we're going to be making some little spiderweb cookies. So I've just baked some ginger biscuits and cut them out using a round cutter. Now the description box below the video I'll put the recipe down for you. I'm just going to put some corn flour on my work surface to stop the icing sticking. Now I've bought the black fondant ready dyed so it just looks like this, the one that I've got. So I've got the Renshaw's ready to roll jet black one. Seems to be dyeing it myself. It's really difficult to dye it black yourself because you have to put so much food colouring in that it ends up really sticky. Okay, so I've rolled that nice and thin. Now, using the same cutter that I used for my biscuits, I'm just going to cut out a circle. And I've just got a little bit of royal icing in a piping bag. I just buy royal icing ready-made and um, Renshaw's now do a royal icing as well that you can buy it's pre-made for you okay so we're just going to squeeze that on there and I'm just going to try and get this in the center and I'm just going to round off the edge slightly by running my finger around the edge so once that's on we're just going to pipe our royal icing now into a bit of a spiderweb shape um, I've just got a nozzle on mine that's a 1.5 so you can either start in the middle or to one side. So starting at the same point again, squeeze out another line, just bring it to the edge of the black. You can put some closer together, some further apart. If it breaks a little bit, don't worry too much because it adds to the effect on these cookies. Okay. So once you've got as many lines on as you want, you're going to start adding lines across. So between each of the lines. If you miss the odd one out, that's fine. I'm not going for a perfectly neat spider web on this one. And then add some smaller bits of web coming across the pieces. And it looks good if every one of your cookies is slightly different rather than all being exactly the same. And you can leave it like that or if you want you can add little dots along the bits of your web. I think they'll bigger one here and there. And what we'll do is we'll give it a bit of a pearlized dust once it's dried. So it's got a nice bit of a sheen to it. So I'm going to let that dry for quite a few hours and this one should now have dried a little bit and I'm just going to use this metallic food paint so I've got the pearlescent ivory one but you can use a silver one or any colour that you want really so it's a rainbow dust one but I'll put links in the description box below to all the products that I've used so I'm just putting a bit of that on my paintbrush now if I just brush it on as it is there's going to be quite a lot so I'm just kind of dabbing it on the back of my hand to dry off the brush a little bit and then what I'll do is start sweeping it across just gently Ooh. otherwise you'll end up knocking your web off like what I just have done from the edges to just give it a little bit of sheen I don't know how well you can see that on the video so just a little bit coming across not too much and then I'll take a smaller brush to paint on the actual web bits themselves. So again, smaller brush, just gently painting on to your web. Okay, so we've just added a bit of a pearlized shimmer there to that. And you can do them with different coloured backgrounds. So you might want to do a white cookie with black piping on instead. So that's one that I did earlier. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. For my other Halloween videos, please see my playlist on Halloween things, which I'll put the link to in the description below. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.